are the future of Morgan State University in Baltimore. Their homecoming. Well, it's up in the air. We're waiting to hear from university officials about if homecoming weekend will go on after a chilling mass shooting happened on campus last night. Five people were hit by gunfire, four of them students. Thankfully, all of them are OK. WSA 9 Scott Room is live at Morgan State to bring us up to speed on the aftermath of this very disturbing attack on a major HBCU campus. Scott, what can you tell us? Well, uh, Baltimore police today gave a briefing reporting that at least one of the five victims this afternoon is out of the hospital. That's obviously good news. Uh, the shooting happened about 9.45 p.m. last night. None of the victims, the police said today, appeared to be the target of whatever dispute was going on between two groups of people that resulted in gunfire. That happened as ceremonies to crown Homecoming dignitaries are wrapping up between the Arts Center and the Student Center here at Morgan State in Baltimore. So apparently all of these victims were innocent bystanders. Meanwhile, Morgan State President David K. Wilson today said sometime this afternoon, obviously later than now, he's going to decide whether or not to keep uh, on moving forward with homecoming festivities. That decision not yet made, but we talked to a lot of students and parents today who said they are going to spend this homecoming weekend at home. A parade of anxious parents arriving to pick up an exodus of Morgan State students, unnerved by seeing the bullet shattered student center window. Although it was a beautiful night, it did end up to be a, a nightmare. Where freshman Kamiles Davis of Rialto, California was sitting when gunfire broke out, he took this video. I have to fly from California. His mom, Jasmine Washington, took a red eye from Los Angeles. Her son sent her shots of a SWAT team clearing his dorm while she was getting to the airport. And I was already having anxieties about him being so far away, and then something like this happens. One of the um, windows shattered at uh, in front of the booth that we were sitting at. You were right there. We was right there. It doesn't feel real. Mm. It doesn't feel real. Is it normalized? Yes, it is normalized, but all I could say is, you know, it could happen anywhere. This is not what I came here for. Journey Pleasant of Gary, Indiana, was picked up today by a family friend from Maryland, Lisa Dixon, who drove up from St. Mary's County. Um, I was like, come, I'll pick you up. I live here in Maryland, and she just come to my house and just can hang out and just kind of deal with all of this in some kind of way. We got to figure this out. That just shows you the bravery of our youth, like that resilience. You know, he chose this school for the education. He chose it for the, the community, you know, I'm so proud of him. He's not deterred and, you know, he's not, I want to go home. It's just, I want my family presence here. And we'll, he said, we'll start fresh next week. Again, families from as far away as California flying in today, responding uh, to this. There were no classes today at Morgan. Lots of students expressing a lot of disbelief today and again this afternoon no decision yet on homecoming festivities including the football game against Stony Brook uh, scheduled for this weekend. Baltimore police have not announced any arrests. Reporting live at Morgan State University in Baltimore, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. You can only imagine just how scary this is for some of these families who are so far away. You hear the news, you can't do anything about it. Let's hope that they can get a handle on this. Scott, thank you.